Welcome to this week's Monday Minutes. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse. And this week we are going to talk to you about Elasticsearch. And we have a fabulous guest joining us from Seckles, uh, Jason Robb. Jason, welcome. Hello. And maybe as I say Seckles, we're so used to using acronyms and everything in the library world. Jason, tell us what Seckles is and what you do there. We, we actually call it SEK because it gets confusing with all the acronyms in Kansas. Um, so I'm at the Southeast Kansas Library System, which is what that stands for. Um, we're a regional library system. There are seven regional library systems in Kansas. Uh, there's There are three out there that have Koha Consortia that we manage, and we're one of them. So... Um, we call it a consortium, but it's actually a service that we offer. So um, Seek and Find is a sh shared co installation of, we have 48 public libraries now and one community college. Um, this this Monday Minutes was really sparked by a listserv conversation that was going on about Elasticsearch. There was, you know, a, a partner of ours that just kind of had a general question, like, who's using it? How's it going? And Jason popped in and shared his lovely PDF, which we'll attach to this blog post. And then we realized we haven't actually talked about Elasticsearch in a while. So we invited Jason to just talk about his experience with, you know, transitioning to Elasticsearch. Sure. So um, we wanted Elasticsearch for a long time. <laughs> like I remember it like when it was starting to rumble because we've been on Koha since 2008. Um, we switched over to Bywater in 2013. Uh, and like we've always had pain points with Zebra just because Zebra is it's built for libraries. It's library specific. So the the it's kind of siloed out there. It works great. It's great. <laughs> it does what it's supposed to do. But um as as we move forward, people are wanting more of that Google like feel yeah. to their searches. And I, it that's something that we know that Zebra probably isn't pr gonna provide for us. <laughs> um and elastic is it's in the name, it's flexible. So um we were always really excited about it but always like it's taken a long time to get there <laughs> where we felt comfortable because we are a lot of people together and searching like it, it goes cataloging if something in cataloging changes it's the most dumpster fires like chaos in the streets and then um uh searching so like if something goes wrong in searching you, you, i get a lot of emails yeah. <laughs> um so and we didn't want to transition uh, and be one of those first early adopter testers just because it was going to, it would disrupt so many people. Um, yeah. So I know back in like, I think in Pueblo in 2019, Bob and Micah presented on Elasticsearch and Bob's with Click and Click is way bigger than us. And so that made us pretty comfortable that, um, yeah, we should start looking at it. Uh, we also didn't have a test server, like an, an official test server. I have that box back there that I set up. <laughs> um, but we didn't have like a real test server until 2021, I think. So that's that's when we decided to make the move. So we we moved in 2021 in September. Uh, we it got loaded up on our test server and I, I had a, like a small group of my people uh, set up for testing a couple weeks. Uh, just, we just did testing a for a couple weeks and then we, we switched over in September, at the end of September. Um, and really there, there wasn't much. I mean, it like, I think the goals of the developers were always to make it feel like there wasn't a change. Like it yeah. works just like Zebra. Um, there were, we ran into one thing in testing where like, and it, it's a common search for us to type in large print Patterson or something like that. And we're um, we're a big old mishmash of AACR2 records and RDA records, so we are so reliant on that GMD, even even though it's getting phased out. Um, so that what we found was the GMD field wasn't searching, and I put in a ticket with Bywater, and they had that indexed and searching like like that. So. Um, uh, and I think the 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 base setup that you guys have going now is a lot cleaner uh, smooth I mean like you could just switch and you really don't notice much difference acronym are you thinking the same thing Kelly Tell yeah us what like what's GMD GMD okay <laughs> um a GMD is the general materials designation it's in the 245h okay. Okay. Yeah. okay um and that is 
that's an AACR2 convention, which is the old cataloging convention. Um, RDA does away with that because of the, the 3 3X fields are supposed to take the place of that. But um, we haven't ever gone through and like RDA would our whole catalog, which would probably be insane. <laughs> um, so we're, we're sort of reliant on, on being able to search those. Yeah, and it's great. You know, as you mentioned, Jason, this this goes back quite a few years, and we did have some great early adopters that mm -hmm. did test the default configuration that was built into to Elasticsearch to make sure that those searches were still bringing back. And then Elastic allows you to weight things. And so when a library transitions over, we now have a really good base of a default configuration that is going to work pretty well for most libraries. And then you can tweak from there. If you're yeah. finding that it's bringing back too many results or you don't want it to look in a specific field or is not as that can be weighted differently. Um, so, you know, we of course thank our community members that have worked with it prior and we encourage libraries that haven't used or haven't transitioned to Elastic to really think about it because it's more robust. It's going to definitely help your um, library finding those materials. Um, so other the other thing that we sort of lost uh, was fuzzy searching. And this is something that I, I read through your guys' blog post and it was something you had recommended keeping off anyways. Um, since we're from way back, we had it on and people were used to it and we kept it on. And what that does is like a, a fake spell checky thing basically so when we switched to elastic people did notice that we were getting less results because it wasn't doing that, that fuzzy searching um so that's at the top of my little pdf cheat sheet is how to put the tilde after a search term so that it does um does that and i know there's a bug in the community to to bring that back to baseline with elastic search oh um there's a request out there anyways for yeah. that. Um, but I, I think that that's, so the th sort of three things we got from Elastic, the big one was speed. Um, that's okay. why we wanted it because our searches were so slow. Um, I think part of that was because we had fuzzy on. Um, like the, the worst case scenario we had before was the number three. So, so like if you search for something season three, it would take minutes to bring back no. results because every one of our barcodes has a three in it because that's yeah. our, our item scheme number. Um, so that fine now. Everything we can, those sorts of searches are great in our catalog way faster. Um, relevancy was another thing that we, we gained, I think, a little more control of for sure. And then the visibility of those configurations. I know that it, we can't just go in and make changes, um, but we can just being able to see that in the interface is really nice to say, hey, this is how it's weighted. Um, and like the relevancy did improve, I think, when we, we switched to Elasticsearch because uh, the default search was always Harry Potter. <laughs> um, so we're looking at Harry Potter and in Zebra, it would uh, never fail to bring back the video record, the VHS right. first. <laughs> um, or the cookbook. So, yeah, yeah. So, um, we get better results, better things floating to the top there, I think. That's awesome. All right. Well, this has been extremely valuable. You know, as we mentioned throughout the entire process, if you're still on Zebra and you want to move over to Elastic, if you're a partner, just submit a ticket and we'll begin that process for you. Big shout out to all of our early adopters who help us set up these default templates by learning so much in the beginning. So we can put that on your system. And then as you get used to Elastic, you can... Um, adjust that information. And Jason, just a huge thanks for coming on and talking to us about your experience moving from Zebra over to Elastic. This is so helpful for the community and our listeners. And we will share the PDF that Jason created for yeah. in this blog post for other libraries to use. So that's fantastic. Right. Okay. Well, thanks so much and have a great week. Have a great week. Bye. Bye. Bye.